Hey, I'm Bob Bloomer, and I want to show you how to take an urban legend and turn it into a functional recipe that's guaranteed to work each time, every time. We're talking about salmon, and when it comes to preparing salmon, you've got an infinite number of options. You can grill it, you can bake it, you can steam it. But if you really want to prepare a succulent piece of fish, impress your friends, and do the dishes all at the same time, there's only one way to go, and that is to poach it in the dishwasher. I've poached salmon in about 100 dishwashers around the world, and trust me, there's never been a dull party. And right now, I want to show you everything you need to know so that you can do it at home. It really doesn't take much. You're going to start with a sheet of heavy-duty aluminum foil and a salmon filet. Place the filet down in the center of the foil and take a half a lemon and squeeze it over top. This is going to create some juice that will allow the salmon to steam as it poaches in the dishwasher. Next up, salt. A little bit of pepper, top it all off with some capers, and a sprig of fresh dill. Now, if there's any one trick to this whole process, it's making sure that your package is completely airtight. And to do that, you just want to fold the foil over a couple of times and pinch it tightly each time you fold it over. You want to do the same thing on the sides so that no air can escape. And if you want to give this a test to make sure that it's airtight and dishwasher proof, after it's all folded up, just push it down on one side. And you see the way it bulged over here? That means that the air had no place to go, couldn't escape at all, and now you know that it's ready to go. You want to load your salmon into the top rack of your dishwasher along with all your dirty dishes, add your soap, and then basically continue business as usual. So I'm setting this to the normal setting. And that's because economy is designed to conserve heat, and therefore you risk not cooking your fish all the way through. And if you use pots and pans, you might overcook your fish. Most cycles are about an hour, or by my metrics, two glasses of wine. Oh, and speaking of wine, conventional wisdom says that Pinot Noir is the perfect accompaniment for salmon, but you know, truthfully, pretty well any white wine or any light red wine is gonna work perfectly with your dish. Smoke, check. Clean dishes, check. Salmon, whew, this baby's hot. But you know what, this doesn't mean anything unless it tastes good. The moment of truth. Wow. This isn't just a party trick. This salmon is moist, super tender, just flaking apart. And now, the real test. Ah. Oh. Work each time, every time. You can find this recipe, as well as all sorts of other unusual cooking methods and surreal presentation tricks in my new book, Glutton for Pleasure.